Over the past three years, I've kept mason bees for two reasons. To help with the pollination of my cherry trees, and because I have become somewhat attached to my bees and want to see them prosper. I think you will find that common to many who keep masons. They feel an affinity towards their bees. It sounds silly to have an affection for an insect, but masons are pollinator extraordinaires thanks to their uh, hairy bodies, fun to watch, and native to the Pacific Northwest and, more important than anything else, they need homes to prosper and are losing habitat in urban sprawl. In any case, I wanted to make a special point about keeping masons here along the I-5 corridor of Oregon and Washington, where the winters have been especially wet these past few years. After the masons have cocooned and sealed themselves in for their hibernation, I would highly recommend opening up their reed homes, separating out the cocoons, and keeping them in your refrigerator. If you don't do this, you will certainly lose bees to fungus and molds that invade their homes. When your fruit trees just begin to flower, place the cocoons in new reed tubes back outside where you need them, and in several days they will be happily working for you. The males make first flight, and that's about two days before the females. I don't recommend homes built out of anything where you cannot insert a clean reed tube for them on a yearly basis. Not changing their tubes allows for mites and again fungus and molds to harm the bees.